Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a look at a new feature coming to the Xbox One console in the coming months, which allows you to use your smartphone or laptop or PC and project the image onto the Xbox One display. So basically, if you've got a nice big 50-inch TV in your front room and you're using your mobile phone uh, to play a game or looking at apps or watching a movie or photos, you can then just basically mirror the display onto your big TV. So basically, we'll demonstrate how to do that using a laptop running Windows 8.1. Uh, you should be able to use Windows 10 as well in the future. So basically, the program you or the app that you use is a wireless display preview. We'll select that now on the Xbox One, which will basically make the Xbox One discoverable. And then you'll see that on your laptop or on your mobile phone as a device to connect to. You simply select that and um, it will connect seamlessly. So on Windows 8, we just hold the uh, Windows button and press K and then we'll select project. And then the um, Xbox One will be discoverable. It will show up on the list. We'll select that. And as you can see, it's connecting. And then basically you're in there straight away. And here's um, our screen showing. So I'll just quickly load up um, Internet Explorer just to show you that. So there's today's kind of news. Now that's nothing new. You can obviously get Internet Explorer off the Xbox One anyway. Um, but what is interesting is let's say now I want to um, showcase some of my images. Um, here we go. And I can just um, seamlessly just display those. Just to give you an idea. I mean, there's a tiny bit of lag. It's obviously dependent on your system. But um, it's pretty good. I mean, the lag is quite minimal. Um, we've got a good uh, internet connection here. But obviously, if you've got a lesser system, then um, the lag might be a bit more. So that's just showing you kind of, um, you know, showing your pictures off. And we'll come out of that um, and we'll go straight over to playing a game. So basically, um, I'll quickly just show you Metal Gear. Load that up. I mean, obviously, on a smartphone, you can um, play any of your apps and have them uh, showing on the big screen, which is a, is a great advantage. Um, obviously, the latency is a bit of an issue um, for certain types of games. Um, but from my experience from playing, I mean, you can get by, um, especially with uh, games that aren't so dependent on fast reactions. Um, so, for example, I can play this Metal Gear quite comfortably uh, once it loads up. And I mean, the, the delay is um, minuscule. I'm talking milliseconds here um, to the point where it's not going to be too much of a, an impact. Now, the only caveat is that the sound won't go through the speakers on the um, TV that is... Uh, it's projecting onto, unfortunately. So if we kind of select mission, well, I'll just quickly just show you the options, just so that you can prove that it's uh, the PC version. I'm not cheating. And there you go. There's all the options for the PC. Right. So we'll just jump right back into the uh, game quickly. So if you obviously want the sound to come through, you'll have to connect up through uh, the headphone output on your phone into your, <clears throat> excuse me, into your system. Or if you're running off a, a PC or a laptop, then um, you can either use the onboard sound from that or again, connect that with a, a cable. So now we're just running it. So I'm not actually using a control, I'm just using a mouse and keyboard. But um, it's quite easy to control. I mean, there's 
I'm not having any trouble controlling Big Boss here. It's quite smooth. And again, if I just quickly um, show you. I can then snap the uh, friends and any other apps to the side. So if I just quickly have my friends list up so I can then just see who's coming online whilst um, that's playing. And again, I can then swap it on the other way and have a game playing on the Xbox One. And then have the uh, screen mirroring in the uh, snapped window. We just come out of there now for now and we'll go back. And I'll just show you another game running and that'll just give you the idea. I mean, the applications and what you use it for is entirely up to you. I mean, as I said, I think the main benefit is going from the smaller screen to the big screen. So if you've got movies, um, images that are on your PC or on your phone, and being able to share that with uh, people locally is great to be able to put that onto a, a bigger screen. So, I mean, we'll just quickly uh, load Satellite Rain. That's a PC exclusive game. I'll just come out of the uh, snap and just go back to full screen. So yeah, it's a pretty cool feature. I mean, I like it and um, I think it's got some good uses. I mean, you can already stream content to your Xbox One. Um, but obviously this is a much better application, uh, a bit more seamless, um, especially if you're running from a smartphone, um, which will benefit greatly from having that bigger screen. So we just wait for this to load up. Okay, so we're in. So the kind of this kind of game is a uh, easier to um, play it's not necessarily requiring any fast reflexes But you get the point anyway, that's that's just giving you an idea. You can pan around the map. Now obviously I will get notifications as per usual on Xbox One when friends come online. Um, again, you can disable that if you so choose. Okay, well, this is the Miracast style technology being used on Xbox One. As I say, it will be rolling out at some point in the future. I'm Rob Cram, and thanks for watching. Mm.